Hey people, what is up? This is Dev and thank you for being on my channel. You're watching a series Know Your Algorithm where we demystify the world of machine learning, artificial intelligence and algorithms so that you can understand how do they work and you can use them in your business context. So if you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing. Today we're going to talk about machine learning classification which is supervised learning and unsupervised learning. In a previous video, I talked about parametric machine learning algorithms and non-parametric machine learning algorithms. So if you want to understand the difference, I'm going to share a link in the description box. Do check it out. So what is supervised machine learning? I'll give you an example. Think of your class teacher when you were in school. And this used to happen with me a lot. My class teacher would ask me a question and I will give them the answer. But they would ask me to repeat the answer again and again and again, correcting me with each iteration. And they would not stop asking me the same question until I give them a satisfactory answer. And then only they would allow me to sit down. Think of supervised machine learning in a similar way. You have an X input data, you have a class teacher, and then you have an Y output data. And this class teacher, which is also called algorithm, is responsible to train the function to predict the Y given the X input data. I'll give you a few examples. Classification, regression, recommendation, prediction, all of them are supervised machine learning problems. Now, how is unsupervised machine learning different from supervised machine learning then? Well, you do not have a label data. You do not have a class teacher. You do not have a supervisor. The algorithm is solely responsible to identify patterns from the data itself. And that is why it is called unsupervised machine learning process. I'll give you an example. Uh, think of clustering. The K means the hierarchical clustering. Think of association rules. These are few of the problems which are unsupervised machine learning problems. Now here's an interesting scenario. Imagine you have an image data set, a part of which is labeled as cat, dog, man, woman, and a majority of the part is unlabeled. What would you do? You would use a combination of unsupervised learning and supervised learning to get to the answer. And that is what we call semi-supervised machine learning process. So you can use a clustering algorithm as unsupervised learning, and then you can use a regression or a classification algorithm as a supervised learning to get to the answer. And that is how semi-supervised machine learning process. In fact, majority of the machine learning problems you would face in today's scenario would be the semi-supervised machine learning process. Well, let's do a recap. Supervised machine learning process. They have an X input data. They have an Y output data and machine learning algorithm makes sure to train the function on the X data to predict the Y data. Unsupervised machine learning process. They do not have a label data and the algorithm is solely responsible to identify patterns. Semi-supervised machine learning process. The data is semi-labeled and a part of it is not labeled. You use a combination of unsupervised learning and supervised learning to get the answer. Well, that is it for me today. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for me, if you want me to add anything to my videos, leave in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Well, next week, I'm going to talk about linear algorithms like linear regression, linear discriminant analysis. <laughs> Click on that subscribe icon if you haven't already and I will see you next week. Bye.